Hello, I'm Vince White. I'm an employment attorney. I have a mic in front of my face, and we are answering publicly posted questions on oppo.com, uh, getting people answers they need from an employment attorney. And here we go. Can I begin a class action against the state? Well, there's a, there's a lot of requirements for class action, but let's get into the question. Regarding uh, pandemic unemployment assistance, I filed for PUA, pandemic unemployment assistance, and submitted all requested information after several months. Finally, I was approved. That's great. After being paid, all benefits were abruptly cut off and the state alleged that I intentionally committed fraud by not providing information, although I actually did. I appealed the decision and it was determined that I'm not eligible for benefits despite the proof that I did in fact supply the requested information. I stated to the judge that I'm not a state worker and it was the responsibility of the case manager who reviewed and approved my case to determine if I had submitted all necessary information. It's my belief that there is a discrepancy. That problem rests with state employees who fail to properly do their jobs. I'm quite certain this, had ha this has happened to a number of people and I, including many others, um, have been charged with fraud illegally due to the matter at hand. We the people should not be held responsible for state employees who fail to properly perform the functions of their job. Okay, so I definitely agree with you, but nobody cares what you and I think. Um, remember that the laws are drafted by politicians who control the state. And so generally the laws don't put the burden on the state, the laws put the burden on you and I, the citizens, because uh, if the burden was on the state, then they would have to do things and they have to run the government in a confident and efficient manner. And we all know they're not interested in doing that, right? So I suspect you're going to find that the burden is written very clearly to be on you. Um, I don't know that for a fact in your state. It looks like you're in Arizona and I, I'm in New York. So I don't know specifically the standard of the laws in your state. Uh, but I would check it with the local employment attorney and I bet you 99.9% .9 of the time that law is going to make it very clear the burden, all burden, for all information is on you as an applicant for benefits. Now, um, going a step further, the question about whether or not you could start a class action. So class actions, you're very savvy, you understand. Class actions require lots of people to be in exact same circumstances. I think you probably are right. I think you probably uh, do meet that threshold, but I still am not sure that you would get class certification here, which is what you need to form a class action um, for a variety of reasons, perhaps the most important of which is I don't think that the courts are going to believe you have a claim. Now I could be wrong, I am often wrong, and I am not familiar with the laws of your state, nor can I give you specific legal advice in your state. Can really only tell you what I think would happen in New York, what I think is probably the law in most states. But you need to speak to a local attorney in Arizona because frankly, I hope I'm wrong and I hope you're right. And I hope this video helped. Um, probably not exactly the answer you wanted, but I, I do hope it helped. I hope, I hope I'm wrong and I hope you can bring this claim and I hope you take him to task. And if I did help in any way, consider liking and subscribing. Uh, it helps me to help more people just like you. Good luck.